performing arts. I knew one thing for sure. I knew that I was quite like this. And three years later, in my little experience in the campus, and I'm thinking, all right, I'm very really interested in performing arts. And all I want to do is to earn money and to be recognized. So if I become a movie star, I actually was going to write out the film in the two years. But I was just two services away from getting the degree. Take a mic, but heavily to care, and also the things that I thought were necessary to become an actor. And uh, by the way, this time I say this, other guys cannot take a location, but this time I should wait for it. This time, there was one difference. I was really My first respect was at stake. My hate for inmates was that I could write here and lecture. <laughs> uh, they thought that I was that disaster that folks in the engineering and these schools should never become. So I had to prove a point to everybody. I had to prove a point to my family. Most importantly, I had to prove a point to myself. And this was a time when I was also a background dancer. So I was dancing behind all the possible stars that can take up Shadow Khan, Shai Kapoor, and me. And I was singing, I was singing to myself while I was performing. It was just three steps away, there, I had to get. And uh, everything was recorded. And I kept going like that. And two years later, guess what? I got myself my first thing. I was selected for a prime time show on a TV. I don't know how it was seriously a big break. You know, I started early. People started recognizing me. To be honest, I would deliberately go and roam in all these malls so that people could look at me, smile, and ask my words. And I'm just watching myself on TV for the first time. I have no idea how I feel here for somebody like me to, uh, you know, looking at me for, and I was looking at myself every day, but TV was a big, big, big high. I also suddenly discovered that I actually had many friends from that tour. Absent all this while, but suddenly they popped up. <laughs> and uh, the show became popular. I was making good money to a point that money stopped being a differentiator in my life. And I was becoming more and more popular. Now I cannot go to all those malls that I'm going all alone. So I wanted somebody to be with me to say. So you know what I'm saying? I bought myself my first dream house. I bought myself my dream car. And just a note to you as well. I'm getting such senior attention that my engineering knowledge friends could only possibly be famous. So I'm having a time of my life. And then something unusual happened. I got used to it. I felt cheated. I stayed with all these dreams for 10 and 15 years of my life. I was promised happiness and I was promised perfect. But all these things stayed in the same just for few weeks. I'm punctuating me because I started from zero money to zero revenue. So I'm not happy. How can I be? I didn't like this version of the church. And the future of me again was zero in the present link. But this time, I decided otherwise. I would do something else. I figured out something. I figured out something. Even these things were not that big once I got them. And looking back in the past, I realized that maybe smaller things were way bigger. And there was
was the one thing that was missing in my life that was the cause of this illusion. And that thing that was missing was now. I was all these years just I was obsessed about what's gonna happen. I used to draw those flowcharts that we are uh, we are talking to. I think I will do that and uh, six months from now I'll be here. So I wanted to be in control. I was so obsessed about my future. I was taking the entire responsibility about the past. But all I was doing was frequently swinging from past to future, not living in actual sense. Well, I also figured that when I perform on stage or in front of the camera, I'm so much excited. I'm so much interested. I'm paying so much attention that there was no room to think about future or the past. I was just there in the moment. I was alive in true sense when I was performing. And for the first time, trust me, in a long time, I understood the true meaning of success, which was not money plus recognition, but it was now plus excitement. This realization happened.